Alex here with an event video on the Democratic Party versus the Green Party, a case involving a major party's efforts to eliminate a spoiler candidate by litigating the removal of Jill Stein from the Nevada presidential ballot. The state Democratic Party made a public records request and reviewed ballot access signatures before discovering a limited number of those signatures allegedly invalid and filing its lawsuit in Carson City. Ms. Stein called the lawsuit outrageous in a video posted to her campaign website, with Jason Call comparing the Democratic Party to a, quote, Godzilla trying to stomp the much smaller Nevada Green Party to keep it from participating in the election process, unquote. Mr. Call also lamented the major party's infinite resources, comparing it to a Walmart pushing out its competitors. District Court Judge Kristen Lewis has allowed electronic coverage of the hearing on this matter, which we have already recorded and will publish shortly. The Democratic Party is represented by attorney Todd Bice. The Green Party is represented by attorney Kevin Benson. The Secretary of State is represented by Deputy Attorney General Gregory Ott. You can keep up to date with our coverage schedule by visiting the media tab on our website, rnevadajudges.com. Feel free to post any questions you have down in the comments below, or you can send us an email at media at rnevadajudges.com. Now we're here on a challenge to who may appear uh, to compete on uh, Nevada's upcoming ballot in November of this year. And both the U.S. Supreme Court and the Nevada Supreme Court have made clear that the state must engage in regulation uh, in order to restrict or limit who may appear on the ballot. Because you can't just say, well, I want to be a candidate for X, or I want to declare myself to be a political party, and so therefore I am allowed to appear on the ballot. The ballot would become, as other courts have explained, completely unwieldy and uh, would be extraordinarily confusing and deprive voters of, of an orderly and fair process. I understand all of that. I agree with that. I, I want to cut to the chase as much as we possibly can. Okay. I also appreciate the fact that, you know, considering election challenges that have been presented in the past, we also want to have integrity in how we proceed with these types of things. Yes. So you're, uh, I'll jump right to the facts then. The facts are, I think, straightforward and really effectively undisputed. And that is, and can, we have a PowerPoint, Your Honor, and could we, uh, we'd like to pull that all right. Uh, I mean, we I provided your clerk a hard copy. If you would like a hard copy of the lawyer, I know what's easier for you to screen than the hard copy. I. Um, it's going to depend. <laughs> right, right now, right now, I need to reach for my glasses because some of the hard copy is very small. I, but uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay. All right. There, there isn't. I don't think there's a dispute about what their affidavit requirement is. Um, that's actually set forth uh, in the Nevada Revised Statutes as well as the Nevada Administrative Code. And the, the Green 